Good morning, Saxons. I'm Brooke Siegel. And I'm Sam Gordon. We hope you've had a happy and safe Thanksgiving. Let's take a look at Keeping Up with the Saxons to catch up with some Langley students. Hello. In this segment, Keeping Up with the Saxons, we'll be taking a look at students and check in with them to see how they're doing. I hope you enjoy it. Hi, Saxons. I'm here with... Eden Canellas. And I'm just going to be asking Eden some questions. So, Eden, how have you been keeping busy during this unprecedented time? I've been FaceTiming my friends a lot, and I've been reading. So, are there any books that, in particular that you read that you like? Um, I've been reading this one book. It's called One of Us is Lying. Has the change of online school been easy or hard for you? Um, it's been easy because I've gotten used to technology. Okay. Um, and have you changed your room since the lockdown, your, your room setting? Yes, I've made it Christmas themed, like the tree. I see the tree. I like the tree a lot, Eden. I have to, I have to be honest with you. And I like the decorations. It's, it's very decorated. Thank you. Of course. Right. Um, Thank you for doing this. Yeah. How have you been occupying or keeping busy during unprecedented times? So I've actually had a lot more free time and, you know, I've been trying to like learn a lot more uh, things, you know, like learn new skills or activities. Um, there's a lot of like stuff like Skillshare online classes. Yeah. And, um, you know, these types of stuff you can like learn pretty much anything you want. You can learn how to like cook. You can learn how to like play a game, um, you know, learn a new way of thinking. So I've been doing a lot more of that. So you've been reading books? Yeah, I've been uh, reading a lot more stuff. Um, I've been reading, uh, I like reading fantasy because I just, you know, like knowing the stories and stuff. Yeah. And a lot of like, you know, these shows that we watch and we really enjoy, um, a lot of them are usually based off some book or some series. And so I think really like, you know, learning about that at its source, you can have a lot better, you can have a lot fuller experience. Has uh, online school been uh, easy to adjust with? Or hard? Or... Um, I would say the biggest part is just like, you don't get to see uh, the people, you know, you don't really see every day. Um, and, you know, the social element is a lot different, but I still get to call off my friends sometimes and stuff, and that's all. And uh, also, it's a lot less work. Um, what I heard, I'm taking a, a push right now. What I heard from my friends in the upper years is that they spend a lot of time on it, a lot more time and read the textbook a lot more and do everything. But um, we got like a lot more supplemental readings, and I feel like it's been easier on the workload. Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. Come with me. It's a beautiful day to go for a stroll, as you can see. Come this way. Oh my goodness, look at that, look at that. It's Jake's James Spinell. Come over, come over, quick, quick. Whoa, this is super exciting. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Good to hear, good to hear. We've been a little worried about you. We haven't seen you in a while. I, I have a series of questions to ask you, though, for this interview. Are you ready for them? Yep. Are you sure you're ready? I'm pretty sure. Okay, if you say so. The first question is, <laughs> have you discovered any new hobbies since quarantine? Nope, I've just been working out a little more. Well, that's good. Always good to stay uh, in good health. Speaking of quarantine, how have you been doing with online school? Do you like it online or in-person better? I like in-person school more. Why is that? Because I get to see my friends, and I can't do that online. I see, yeah. Bit of a problem there, I guess. Also, I see you're wearing that Cornell shirt. Have you been reading any books? Nope, I'm a little bit illiterate. I know you've been doing uh, football, or you did football last year. Are you planning on doing it this year too? Yep, I'm excited for the football season coming up. I see, very interesting. Well, it was an honor and a pleasure talking to you. I'm glad you're still okay, all right? All right, Very you good. Thanks guys, it was great to see everyone's faces again. I've been having a lot of trouble coming up with winter outfit ideas. Do you know of anyone who can help me out? I do. Let's take a look at this winter fashion segment. Trench coats are in fashion this winter because they keep you warm and they make you look elegant. You can style a neutral color turtleneck with denim jeans with your coat to make your outfit look casual and elegant. 
Here we have a tan hoodie, says nowhere to go on the front, and some light wash jeans. And there's a rip at the knee. There's um, designs around the thigh area. Here's a better look, simple fit just to go out real quick. On the sleeve it says, there's time to go is now. Now we have the same jeans, different top, showing the versatility of the jeans. This one's a little bit more going out hanging with friends instead of the chill other ones. Here's uh, the jeans again to show them the same ones, Air Maxes. Thanks guys, now I have some great outfit inspiration. Do you like to sing, play an instrument, compose, produce, or record music? If you do, contact Maya Sajdev at mayas.world at gmail.com to join the Langley Music Club. Music Club's goal is to create and release music on major streaming platforms. The English Honor Society will be sponsoring a door decorating contest for this season of lights called Deck the Doors. We hope you'll join us in the fun of decorating any door in your home with images of book covers, literary characters, symbols of your favorite literature, and more. The contest is open to all Langley students as well as their family members. Submit using this QR code. In the era of online school and social distancing, taking care of your mental health is more important than ever. Thanks guys, that is such an important topic in this day and age. That's all for today. Have a great day, Saxons. Stay safe, we can't wait to see you. Yes. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer Had a very shiny nose And if you ever saw it You would even say it glows All of the other reindeer Used to laugh and call him names